In a previous video, I showed you how to prevent paper from buckling, but none of them are quite perfect method. They all have little niggles that makes it not work as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your paper if it does buckle and you want to flatten them again. So I have to first tell you guys that this is for emergencies only because it's a little bit of a risky task. I used to do this when I used to paint acrylic on paper, which obviously doesn't affect it as much and you'll see why, but with watercolor, any water that goes on it can mess up your painting and I will definitely definitely practice this lot with scrap painting or scrap pieces of paper like this first so that you can get the hang of it get the right setup and so you don't get tragedies and i would still avoid it unless you really really have to do this but i have a piece of paper this is a really thin one i think it's 190 gsm booking for the game i think i have all their papers and this i used for reviewing a da vinci casino it's pretty warped so what we're gonna do is gonna be scary and if this makes you scream then probably not do this but we are gonna very very lightly but also evenly wet the back of this paper and i highly highly recommend you use a mist spray that produces even very fine mist I like to use a hairdresser's misting spray because I find that that has the finest, most even misting spray that doesn't have any splatters. And that's going to be really crucial here because you don't want big blobs of water. You only want to lightly, lightly moisten this. To do this, I'm going to put a couple of sheets of kitchen paper down. This is just so that if the outside of the painting gets wet, it absorbs rather than going onto the front of the painting. You want to put your painting facing downwards and then from a height, so you want, you want to come up, you don't want to be spraying here, from a height, very lightly spray until it starts curling and that shows that there's water absorbed on it. Now remove the kitchen towel because what you don't want is any excess water getting underneath. Put it onto a non-porous surface. This is my artboard and then you want to put something very flat and very heavy and non-porous. I used to use a glass plate for this because that's like the perfect flat smooth and non-porous but I don't have them anymore. So what I'm going to use here is a unopened pack of Fabriano Academia because these have plastic covering all around it so it'd be non-absorbent and they are pretty heavy. So you just want to put it down and you only, only want to wet the paper very slightly. Don't soak it, don't let it drip. It's just a couple of light mists and as soon as the paper starts rolling, that's enough. Leave it like this and let it dry. It might take a day, it might take a couple of days. It depends on the thickness of the paper, how your setup is and stuff. Just keep an eye on it. Like maybe once a day, just lift it up and see how it is. And I'll show you how they come out. It's now the next day and I'm gonna take these off. These are so heavy. They're really good for this. And yep, this is the paper. It's nice and flat. It's also nice and dry. Oh no, a little bit damp. So maybe a couple days will be better, but it's nice and flat. Can you see how flat that is? There's, it lies nice and flat onto the board. So I know that everything is straight. I'll probably give this another day so it can dry better and thoroughly. But as I said, I can't press this upon you enough to experiment with your paper that you want to flatten, learn how long it takes, learn how much water it needs. You want to use the smallest, smallest amount of water on the back, never on the front, and see if it will work for you rather than just going straight in and trying doing this with say like a painting that you've already sold and you just need to flatten to mount. I will highly recommend in that case to take it to someone like a framer who will know better how to handle flattening a watercolor paper than we ever can at home. 
So that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much and I will speak to you guys in the next video. Bye!